Is Nigeria a nation without hope? Over the weekend, we had two elections in Kogi and the other in Bayelsa. The associated hashtags were Kogi decides, Bayelsa decides, but I knew this was farthest from the truth. We already knew the results even before people thought of casting their votes. This isn't because we have such a well-performing government that the people would gladly vote them in, but because we knew, just as in the general elections of 2019, these elections would be decided by might, and as predicted, there was widespread violence, stealing of ballot boxes, and of course, killings. All the gains that were made in the Jonathan era on electoral reform appear to have well and truly disintegrated. I, like many who would normally encourage others to vote, have all but lost confidence in our electoral system. The system seems designed to fail, since it denies the people their voice. And worse, those who venture out to exercise that right to vote can't guarantee that they wouldn't be, given, that they wouldn't be giving up their right to life in the process. Then, to add pepe to injury, the same government now wants to take away our right to free speech by proposing a hate speech bill. So our hands are tied at the polls and our voices are muted on social media, the only platform Nigerians have to escape their problems and vent their spleen. All this because we have a non-performing government that seems filled to the brim with greedy, corrupt career politicians who don't want us to tell them so, as this may cause us to unite and fight for our rights or even fight for our democracy. Over the weekend, many tweeted that democracy in Nigeria has been murdered. Sadly, I'm inclined to agree. It appears that we as a people have refused to unite and insist on good govern governance due to our various motives or agendas. As a result, we feel like we have been bound and are about to be gagged with no hope in sight. Nigeria, is, is this the next level? Is this what we voted for? Anyway, irrespective of our background or allegiances, our common ground is that we must make our voice and vote count if we are to resuscitate the hope of our nation. We must unite under this fundamental purpose or we are mute witnesses to a sham democracy. Spot on. Mm. Um, wow. it, it was, um, I tell people it was um, really disgraceful um, that um, we, are, we call what we had over the weekend an election. In fact, it is so bad that a friend of mine called me and said, look, I think at this stage, I make the DSS and the police and APC should just call us and say, a do election, this is uh, the outcome. Yeah. And spare us all of this death, okay. bloodbath and waste of time. Because you saw what happened in Kogi, and then you look at the numbers, you look at the figures, you look at the numbers of PVCs said mm. to have been collected, right. and it's far, far less than the number of actual votes. Right. And yet, we had introduced PVCs mm. to checkmate election okay. rigging, and you now begin to wonder, and yet your president will congratulate the winner <laughs> yeah. and say, yes, you did well. Mm. And so, if you, the losers should go to court. I, 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 I just came back from election petition tribunal, so I know what happens there because it is a tall order. Our electoral pr uh, laws do not permit yeah. all of this proof because you need to prove pulling unit by pulling unit for 180 days. That's a tall order. It would be almost impractical impossibility for you to do. And, and, and so I, I think that the way we are going very soon, if care is not taken, people will no longer bother about waiting to go to tribunal. They would rather kill and mm. maim an election, okay. uh, an election day. Yeah. And a lot of people will not want to participate. Well, we're there. Yes. Absolutely. We're, we're, we're there. there. But it's just that it's done from one side, people with the, the, the might of government. Mm. Um, look, for me, I think, you know, just like you said, maybe it's time for INEC just to say heads or tail, we'll t toss yeah, a coin, yeah. and we'll just decide, yes. you know, who, who wins. Um, it's really shameful. Um, that we're at this stage. Um, I thought by now we'll have progress, but I wasn't expecting any miracle. Mm. Um, you saw the build-up to the election. You saw all the things. I mean, uh, it was really sad to yeah. read in the press. The IG of police said 
uh, there are fake policemen. So Imagine how many that. how many fake so policemen if, if did you, you catch? Statement, <laughs> if you how many that fake policemen before the election? Yeah. They said they've identified all the flashpoints. Yeah. They've deployed for policemen mm. to all it's, of it's, these areas. We saw videos and where then on the yeah. day of election. All the policemen would they, they stand that. that. Yeah. And, and we saw videos the of policemen of, were yeah. even used. Used and there were trucks, yeah. to police stand trucks, ballot boxes. packs. And then, and then the, the boys fake. come and they take the boxes and they were just packed. They were looking there. Yeah. Yeah. And the same police helicopters were shooting and tear gas and, and live ammunition from, from, from police. It's really. And, Look, then, and then they um, set that you know, poor woman you know, uh, alive. This is, this, is, this, is, this, is, this is state capture. This is where yeah, a democratic true. government or a government <laughs> that came in under institutions of democracy, elections, and so on and so forth, is using the same institutions, the judiciary, the same INEC, to subdue the, the democracy. Demo that is what's mm -hmm. happening. So yeah, okay. it's a capture of state. And like, like uh, uh, Sandra said earlier on, we're finding that our own democracy is being undermined you know, gradually. gradually. And we're getting to the point where, you know, we, we don't fit the definition of, of, all. Demo democracy. of, of a democracy yeah. anymore. Not at all. Not because at all. The, the, the core principle is institutions, is, is, is rule of law, and is going, it's, it, if someone like Shore has been granted bail, I mean, it's, it's amazing so that even... The car will overrun him if they release him. Just look it's, at it's, that. It's, it's, and it's, it's, look at that it's, reasoning. Uh, I mean, I don't know. I thought uh, that was it's, a it's, joke, it's, actually, but, when I read that. So, I, I don't know. I, is it that we're trying to scare the majority of people with the hate speech bill, with or arresting people? But I don't think that is sustainable. Yeah. Because okay. this, this, all of us, I mean, all of us here were old enough. We went through a bacha, we went through military yeah. dictatorship. Yeah. I don't think they're going, there's enough prisons uh, in Nigeria it's to hold everyone. Yeah. So I think that ultimately, the sad thing is that it is also people like us who support some of these things. That's true. But, but, the, but I believe that the, the, the majority of Nigerians want a better life and do not want to see the system yeah, um, that, that, yeah. that it's about to come. Mm. Oh, it is sad that the last time we had something that was close to an election was um, as far back as 1993, maybe. And even these the days, 19, even the was it yes, ever? A4, option yes, A4. The Hope yeah. 93, yeah. Yeah, mm. then the June 12th mm. election. And, yeah. uh, you know, because over the, from 1999 to date, our election keep getting worse. Mm. In 2015, a lot of people didn't, the numbers of election petition rose mm. but the fact that it produced a desired result a lot of people didn't complain didn't so complain. we felt it was a huru even though yeah. we also introduced card readers at that time mm. the same outcome with the biasa election there were violence snatching of ballot boxes mm. but because it produced a, a desired result there was synergy between the two dominant yeah. parties so right. a lot of people felt oh kogi was worse it was just the same thing mm -hmm. remember my annoyance is the fact that yara dua was the president? He admitted yes. that an election that brought him into office was flawed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. With what people are talking about in Kogi, I didn't expect Mr. President to, to say, "Oh, I let's do that. Let the losers go to court." court. court. You yeah. still, at least, I didn't appreciate the fact that people died. Nigerians yeah, died. died. People yeah. that yeah. you're supposed to look over died. And so, yeah. for you to just you know, wish it away and congratulate the man and yeah. say, ah, you, you know. yeah. and then when you talk, they'll say, it's because you don't like Buhari, mm. yeah. it's because you don't like, like APC, exactly. or that one PDP or did it this way. So what's the change promise then if PDP did it this way and you have elevated it? Exactly. So mm. what we have these days is not even something to be called election Manager, because yeah. it's what guns and money, you know, decides yeah. yes. election yeah. in Nigeria. Mm. It's not so election. it is no. a selection I mean, process. It's, it's not it's it's gonna, be, I like it's it. It's guns very, and money. Guns and yeah. money. It's about yeah. power. It's yeah. about, yeah. about so, so, so the whole thing is about, so, so that's why I say state capture. So everything they're doing, no one is doing it. The politicians are not doing it for the betterment of the yeah. average Nigerian. Yeah. They're doing no, it no, to all. consolidate power, yes. for power for the sake use of power. Guns, use money. Yeah. So they just want to be and excellency and, and minister mm. and president or whatever, just for the sake of power. Mm. And, yeah. and, 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 and that's why you find all of those things. Because so if you're really doing it for the benefit of health and education, I don't think anyone will go to this extent. Yeah, well, I, I for one, I will think twice next time when voting comes <laughs> around. Because, I, I mean, I just felt it was wasted, totally. <laughs> All right, OK. Not saying anything is an indulgence we can rarely afford these days. Sandra has quite a bit to say about the shape of gender equality and what the future holds after the break. Stay with us.